You know, there's nothing more exciting to me right now than talking about some real Nintendo Switch 2 news. Look, I love the rumors and the leaks and the inside information that we get here and there, but today we actually have something worthwhile to talk about because developers are now openly talking about making games for Nintendo Switch 2, which is not something that many people thought would happen before the system was even unveiled. But if you paid any attention to how this happened, you would know that, hey, this is the indicator that this new thing is coming. What are we talking about? Well, you might have seen some headlines out there already pertaining to this in terms of a poll that was ran by the Game Developers Conference with three thousand different game developers but what you might not be aware of is all the context behind it because yes while it the headlines are being like oh eight percent of people are making games for nintendo switch 2 which some people are laughing at and think it's such a low percentage we have a bunch of context about how this eight percent is actually insane and shows massive growth with nintendo among third party developers. In fact, Nintendo Switch 2 is setting up to be absolutely incredible. So let's get to the data. So first off, this is a PDF file you have to sign up for on their website, on the, on the Game Developer Conference's website to get. And this is uh, for this year, as you see, 2023. And it says, which platforms are you de currently developing projects for? Now you'll notice PC is the most common. So, you know, you figure there's a lot of indie developers in here. But I think if you scroll up here, you can see uh, this is the type of people in it. So 32% are indie developers, 18% are AAA, AA, et cetera. All the other stuff, education, co-development, all that stuff. But when you get down into here, it's interesting because you'll see PlayStation 5 is at 35% of the people polled, so 3,000 people. Xbox Series X and S are at 34%. You'll see Android and iOS pretty high as well. Nintendo Switch sitting there at 18%. Xbox One X and PS4 right around the same as Nintendo Switch as well. Max up there. But then you get down here and you see 8% for the Nintendo Switch successor. And this is what's getting all of the headlines is this 8%, which is quite interesting for a system that hasn't even been announced. Now, what does 8% equate to out of 3,000? Basically, 200 developers are openly admitting they are presently working on games for Nintendo Switch's successor, which means, yes, they have dev kits and are getting their games ready on those dev kits. So this, look, we've heard rumors, we've heard reports, we've had insiders tell us dev kits are out there. This is the first real tangible proof that yes, game developers do have dev kits and are currently making games. Now again, 8% looks pretty low. If you get down here to the next poll here, what platforms most interest you as a developer right now PCs right up there, then PlayStation 5, and then look at that. Nintendo Switch successor. So what does this tell you, right? What do we learn here with the discrepancy from 8% are currently making games for it to 32% are interested in making games for it, it lets you know not all these developers actually have Nintendo Switch dev units. So if they had them, if they had the Switch 2 dev units, they would be able to make their games for it. Now remember, there's a huge chunk of this people that are indie developers, and there's a high likelihood most indie developers do not actually have the Nintendo Switch 2 dev kits. Those usually don't happen until after a system is announced and comes out just to prevent leaks. So I would venture to say that a majority of these developers are almost as interested in the successor as they are the damn PlayStation 5. So there's a lot of interest in making games for the Nintendo Switch 2. But see, these numbers are fine, but if we don't have context for what they mean and how this has applied to the past, then you don't really understand. In fact, I've seen people making fun of the fact that only 8% of developers are actively making games for the Nintendo Switch successor. Well, if you guys want to zoom back all the way to 2017, because they do this poll every year, what do you think the poll said back then? Well, here we have the data, thankfully saved by Nintendo Enthusiast over here on Twitter. And it says the most important gaming platform in 2017, percent of game developers who are currently developing games for the following platforms. And as we go down the list, we see Nintendo Switch. And again, this is we already knew what Switch was. It was already announced. It was coming out March 3rd. Only 3% of the people polled from the Game Developers Conference in 2017 
we're actively making games for Nintendo Switch. So we're already seeing a 5% increase or more than 100% increase in developers currently making games for Nintendo Switch 2 versus the Nintendo Switch before it came out. So we've already seen a massive increase here showing that yes, there is a lot of exciting things happening in regards to the Nintendo Switch 2 and that 8% figure is actually really good. But we gotta go deeper than that, right? Because here's what happens. Well, 3%, 8%, they're both pretty pathetic, right? Blah, 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 right? That's what we're gonna hear. Well, what if I were to tell you this isn't that far off from literally the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X back in 2020? Here is the exact same poll from 2020. So this is before PlayStation 5 was announced. The Xbox Series X was already announced in December previous to this. And why don't we take a look at this? We're seeing Xbox One. Uh, we're seeing PC really up there. Mobile way up there. PlayStation 4 and Pro. Nintendo Switch is even up there at 17%. Oh, man. Where is everyone else? Oh, here's PlayStation 5. Oh, man. PlayStation 5 is at 11%. Only 3% higher than the Nintendo Switch 2, which, you know, PlayStation gets all of the indie support. So... There's that. Oh, and then by the way, here's Xbox Project X Cloud, only 3%. Xbox Scarlet, 9%. So their X Cloud, their streaming services, not that much interest, about the same as Switch in terms of Xbox Project Scarlet or Xbox Series X and S. We didn't know about the S at the time. Boom, baby. That's right, only 9%. So this is the context we're talking about that seems to be missing in so many of these reports is that it is literally really great news that 8% of this polled group of developers are working on Nintendo Switch 2 titles because that's almost right in line with the Xbox series heading in the launch, and that's really close to the numbers that were happening with PlayStation 5. Why are there so few people currently like trying to make a bunch of games for the new system? Well, outside of the fact there's less dev kits out there, same was true for the Xbox and the PlayStation, by the way. The reality is a lot of companies don't want to bring their games to a new platform until it has an install base. So you always see after the system launches, there's even more interest. And then even a year after that, there's even more interest in terms of people currently making games for the platform. Again, more dev units out there, more units being sold to consumers, more interest from developers to make games for an actual consumer base that exists rather than a hypothetical consumer base. So that is really what we have to focus on here is how great this news really is for the Nintendo Switch 2 successor. Yes, of the 3,000 polled, 200 of them are literally making games right now for Nintendo Switch 2. And this actually falls right in line with what was happening with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. And then ignoring all of that, it's literally over 100% growth in the interest that was happening with the original Nintendo Switch. So nothing about this is bad. This is all really great news. And it does show that Nintendo Switch 2 is about to get significant third-party support even more than the literal Nintendo Switch did. So literally, this is nothing but great news. It's all great news all around for Nintendo Switch 2. Also, this is just a fun one, for anyone that still keeps pretending the system doesn't exist, it's all rumors, it's all reports, Nintendo hasn't announced it. Well, you know what? Developers are literally answering a poll saying directly they are working on games right now for the Switch successor. You think they could say that if it didn't exist? Come on now. This isn't about an interest in a hypothetical. This is literally they are making the games now. So yeah, this is also, if you want to look at it another way, a little bit of evidence that the system's probably coming this year. I just want to throw that out there. You saw all those other polls, those percentages, those were all the same year systems came out. So yeah, um, pretty good chance that because 8% of people are making games for it, that it's actually coming this year. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJance from Nintendo Prime. <sighs> I'll catch you in the next video.